like the speed of sound We can keep on the ground What's good YouTube? Easy now 1337 aka Snow back again with another video for tips and tricks. This time on Dead Island Riptide now. This is a way to get unlimited XP, unlimited money, unlimited items, pretty much everything in the game to be honest. Um they like to cheat at these types of games, but it doesn't really affect you like really. I suppose the money helps a lot in building and repairing, but it's not that type of game that I care about too much, so I will do a cheat on it. And this is pretty much a cheat. It's the old um, drop and dashboard method from most of these types of games that you know, like Borderlands 2, etc., etc., um, where you got co op online gameplays. And yeah, a couple of um, things that you need to know, a couple of requirements. Firstly, when you're doing carp, you need at least three players. Now, this is because when you dashboard, that game will stay alive because there's two people in there. If you're just doing it with two people and you dashboard, that person will go back to single player. And I think, well, we haven't tested it, but I would reckon that all the items disappear or whatever, or it doesn't save. Now, to duplicate the items, it's basically just drop, but you have to wait for the other person to pick up everything that you dropped before you dashboard because everything will disappear as soon as you dashboard. And what else? Yeah. To make it easier, what you can do is, is collect a certain amount of items, like in this video we're doing painkillers and then we're handing in the painkillers to the guy with the repeatable quest. Um, we would get four painkillers and give them all to one person, me, who's doing the dashboarding. Throw down the four painkillers, give it to the other person, dashboard, do it over and over again until the, the one player's got 20 painkillers. Then he would drop those 20 painkillers to me. And then we would go and do a mission. We would have to go and do a mission so that the game would check points and check point with me having 20 painkillers instead of four. And then I would drop the 20 painkillers, dashboard again. So then he's got 20 painkillers and I've got 20 painkillers. So we built it all the way up until I had, um, until we all had basically 83 painkillers each. And then we went and handed it all in, which you'll see in this video later. So yeah. Let's get into like an explanation kind of video. So me and DPJ, if you don't know DPJ, go and subscribe to him. Links in the video description. We played Dead Island with another another one of our friends and we were just messing around trying to figure out if we could do this or not. And um, we're not the type of people to follow the story mission. We just go around and just batter things and all that. So we do do the story mission, but it takes us a long time to get to it. So this is me dropping him the painkillers. And then I'm going to drop a bunch of other stuff as well, like medipacks, weapons etc etc for him to pick up and it can be quite a lengthy time to pick everything up especially something as small as the painkillers because they're awkward to where they land sometimes they land like glitching out kind of and you have to move around and crouch over the top of them to pick them up so it can take a while to actually do this cheat um to get to 83 key 83 painkillers each and a, a whole lot of other items spread around between us it took about I'd probably say about an hour to an hour and 20 minutes, but that's just because as well DPJ just loses track of what he's doing and he goes to do videos and stuff. So I reckon to get 100 painkillers it could probably take you no less than an hour, which isn't bad really for the reward that you get for the painkiller um, quest. It's like you're handing about 6 painkillers and you'll get a level, something like that. So that is me dropping everything and this part sped up, picking everything up, it might be a bit laggy. Hopefully not too laggy. You guys can see what's happening. But um, yeah, DPJ is just picking everything up. And when you get to the point where he's picked up everything he can pick up. Because I dropped some weapons, but his weapon inventory was full, so he couldn't pick them up. But you can do it with weapons as well. So I just dashboard. Just a normal dashboard to desktop. Desktop? Dashboard. <laughs> um, and then just click the game and come back in and load back up and go back into Xbox Live Party. And when... I get there you'll see that I have all my stuff back and then I'll show you how to hand them in as well so this is me joining the game again and I have everything back in my inventory and DPJ still has everything that I had obviously you can't see his inventory but I promise you it's there and yeah the hand in quest um, I would suggest not doing it on multiplayer because when I tried to hand it in 
DPJ was handing in his 83 painkillers as well and another friend was handing in his 83 all at the same time and for me it glitched out and I, he was taking my painkillers but he wasn't giving me any XP or anything so I dashboarded again got rid of my um, what I'd lost and came back in loaded up my single player game and you can see right here in my inventory in my single player game that I have the 83 painkillers and yeah the rest of this video is just going to be me handing in the painkillers so that you can see exactly what sort of reward you get and every time you hand in a painkiller you get money as well if you look on the left it says so however many money taken like the first one here it says 1283 taken that's adding to your money total so yeah I hope you enjoyed that guys I hope it helps I hope you have fun with it that's me done for today though peace out take care Whatever you find. Right. Getting better. Bring me more. Whatever you find. Good. That's it. Bring me more. Whatever you find this. Getting better. Bring me more. Whatever you find. Right. <laughs>